Hi friends, so have you ever wondered that when you place an order in Amazon or Flipkart, how these orders are being tracked so easily that you get all the detailed information like when your order is placed, when delivery has been created or when uh, let's say product has been shipped and then when you are getting the product, how you are getting all these accurate kind of thing or how these products are getting delivered to you by one day. If you are wondering how, so the answer is SAP EWM. Okay, so the SAP EWM and the supply chain management makes it easy or makes it possible for you to get the products on time or before time, right? So now in today's era, we need everything as fast as possible, right? So that's why SAP EWM comes into the picture and the SAP SCM system. But here in SAP EWM system, it helps in managing the product and tracking the product at the very real time level. So today we are going to discuss about the introduction to SAP EWM. So as in the last class, we have discussed the difference between SAP MM and SAP EWM. Who can learn the SAP MM or who can learn the SAP EWM? So if you are going to learn or if you are keen to learn SAP EWM, we are starting the class. So today we are going to discuss about pretty much basics on the SAP EWM like what is SAP EWM or how EWM works, what are the functionality of SAP EWM and uh, what are the benefits of SAP EWM, what are the deployment options are there in SAP EWM and what is the benefits of SAP over SAP EWM over SAP WM. So these are the some of the topics that we are going to cover and today's topic or today's class it will be pretty much of basics for them who are new to SAP or who are new to SAP EWM it will be little bit informative for them. So please be on the video till so before proceeding to the class so if you have worked in the SAP system before you can just let me know in the comments that if you have worked or if you have not worked then we can suggest you how you can take benefit of these classes or of these sessions right so first let's understand what is sap ewm so sap ewm is a extended warehouse management so as the name mentions warehouse management it manages the warehouse for the business so in the warehouses let's say there will be any kind of goods receipts are there means when we receive some of the goods or we issue some of the goods so at that point of time, it will track the items at the real time or it can manage all of those things which are related to your warehousing solution. So we can say this is a part of our supply chain management system which will manage our warehouse activities for the business. Before going to the segment two, you can also let me know if you have heard of warehouse before or if you are working in warehouse or if you have any idea on the warehouse or not so just comment in comment in the comment section so that we can have let's say we can plan a lot more things over there or we can suggest a lot more things to you on that right so if we say about the overview or let's say functionality of sap ewm so sap ewm is a pretty much flexible system that allows you to manage your warehouse as you like as your functionalities are there in your warehousing let it be a small warehouse or let it be an automated big warehouse or let it be any kind of warehouse is there so you can, you will be able to manage with the ewm solution from the put away to the picking or we can say from the goods received to goods issue to physical inventory to any kind of uh, let's say bin tracking or uh, let's say any kind of work related to your warehouses are there so there are practical um, there are a lot of practical uses of sap ewm is there so as we have discussed in the previous sections like how you are getting the one day delivery or how you are getting your product at your doorstep in one single day or let's say even faster if we say about the let's say big basket and other uh, uh, we can say warehouses they are getting your products in 10 minutes so how these things are possible due to the integration between the sap erp system or we can say uh, the order management system with the sap ewm system or we can say supply chain management system with the sap ewm system so that makes a very faster solution for the businesses to provide the clients 
products very effectively or very faster or at a nominal we can say time right so everything is automated so that whenever there is a order is coming from the supplier or we can say order is coming from a customer it is getting processed in a single click okay when you receive means everything is automated when you receive a order it creates a delivery and again it will be uh, sending to the EWM system and then it is creating a picking over there and is, that is getting packed and that is getting shipped under no time right so these all if we say about the benefits of SAP EWM why businesses are choosing the SAP EWM so basically if we say so first thing is real-time tracking so you can track your product at any stage of let's say any activities or any we can say processes are there so you can track the materials or item at the real time and you can get the exact location coordinates and everything about the product second thing if we say that will be your higher efficiency with automation so if you are going to use the automation process so everything will be automated and you will be going to get a very faster results on that one third thing if we say there will be a very less operational cost will be there as there are no manual interventions are there or there will be no uh, no processors are getting created manually so there will be a lot more let's say less uh, operational activity will be there and uh, if we say about the integration it will be integrated it can be integrated with sap mm and sap sd model which will create like the order management system which we have mentioned earlier so that will make it pretty fast or pretty much easy we can say question for you so which functionality or which thing you think that it is the best for the businesses or for your clients so do let me know in the comment so if you say about the SAP EWM architecture so SAP EWM is pretty much flex, uh, flexible and it can be modified so SAP EWM it will take the master data from the master data and the transactional data from the ERP system like you can say the master data as in let's say plant will be there shipping location will be there so that will be converted as a location master in the SAP EWM and if we say about the customers and vendors so those will be converted into the business partners in the EWM and uh, we have the material master in the SAP MM side so we can push that to the EWM side and, and if we say about the warehousing so it will be having a lot uh, we, we can say there will be storage type will be there storage sections will be there and storage bins will be there inside the warehouse when it will be uh, let's say create a layered uh, we can say functionality we can use so we can use these kind of kds or key data structure in the warehouses if you want to know more about these things do let me know in the comments so that we can plan for further sessions on those things right so we are going to start the sessions or we are literally or we can say we are we have started the sessions so we will be planning the sessions on a let's say how it will be beneficial for everyone to learn so we will plan like that one but in the meantime if you have any uh, let's so if we say about the sap ewm versus wm so we can say sap has started its warehousing solutions from 1993 means a little bit of here and there they have developed little bit of things like first they have started the storage bin then they um, uh, then they have created the parallel processing then they have started the handling unit management so likewise year by year they have started or introduced it and i believe from the 1995 it was there with the let's say standalone or we can say individual system for the sap warehousing solution was provided and uh, later on there are further more modifications or further more introductions are there and from 2005 so sap ewm was introduced in 2005 with the sap scm system from then till now we are having the sap ewm as a extended warehouse management solution so if we say about the comparison about the wm and ewm so we can say sap ewm is pretty much refined over the sap wm solution now where we have a lot of things in the warehousing solutions also but they are limited to the practical uses or practical usability they are very limited over there and in the ewm there will be very much flexibility and very much usability are there 
compared to the SAP WM solution. So if we take an example or if we say about let's say uh, there will be um, task and resource management if we say about the value added services or if we say about the um, let's say consolidation deconsolidation process right and uh, there will be let's say yard management and a lot more functionalities are there added in the SAP EWM solution and if those solution let's say the task and resource management RF devices these kind of things are there in the WM but it is pretty much refined and pretty much we can say enhanced in the SAP EWM so that it is helping the all of the functionality of warehouses and where the automations are there it is helping a lot more the things over there so if we compare about the SAP FBM, M, SAP so if we compare about the SAP WM and SAP EWM so we can say SAP EWM is pretty much refined and pretty much we can say it is an advanced word. So question for you, what is the announcement from SAP when it is going to eliminate or it will be discontinuing the SAP WM support from a side. Okay, do let me know in the comments. If we say about the deployment option, so SAP EWM has two types of deployment option. One is an embedded deployment option and another one is a decentralized uh, deployment option. So what is the embedded system? So let's say if you are using the SAP EWM in your ERP system, like when you are going to implement the SAP S4 HANA, with that same solution you can have or with that same system you can use the SAP EWM. So if you are using like that one, so basically it is a centralized concept and in the EWM it is called as an embedded EWM solution. Now the second solution is decentralized warehouse solution or decentralized EWM solution. Now there are a couple of things are there how you can use the SAP EWM as a decentralized system. As per the business requirement you can take the SAP EWM in a SCM system also. You can use the SAP EWM in a S4 HANA solution also. Okay, depending on the usability if you want to know what are the deployment option and who can take which kind of deployment option do let me know in the comments so we can plan for that also right so if you are going to use a s4 hana system so there also you can use let's say one erp system plus one ewm system on s4 hana that is a decentralized s4 hana one more system you can take a erp system as a ecc system as a um, erp system and also you can use a scm system as a ewm solution okay so these are the couple of decentralized options are available so that's all about today so in today's topic we have discussed what is ewm why ewm is beneficial and what are the functionalities of sap ewm what are the let's say overview of sap ewm and what are the deployment options are there and comparing sap ewm with wm so these topics we have covered in today's class in the next class we will see some next topics or uh, we will proceed further to learn about the SAP EWM more basics or something into that one. So basically we are starting the SAP EWM classes from the scratch or from the basics. So might be you might have thinking or you might be thinking that these classes are not having enough information or these are not detailed classes. So basically uh, as per your position let's say you are already into the SAP or you are already into SAP MM or you already learned the SAP WM and this will be pretty much basic for you but there are some people are there who are new to SAP or they don't know anything about a SAP or they don't know anything about SAP EWM solution so this will be beneficial for them so that's why we are taking it from the scratches itself so if it is beneficial for you if you are a starter if you are a beginner then it will be helpful for you if you are already experienced so do wait for some time contents are coming soon you will be able to learn from that one so don't worry we are going to start and this is just a starting okay so let's meet up in the next class till then bye bye take care and jai hind